With still no word from the North Korean government, China's Long Dan again urged all sides to come to the bargain. We have now a late response by Admiral Toshiro Otomo of the Japanese ISDF. Despite the ambassador's efforts, nothing has changed. The Japanese people must continue to endure harassment and humiliation. We eagerly anticipate the arrival of the Hey, I hate you leaving us. Heading back for Panama. Hate to eat and run, sir. We have a few loose ends to tie off before we can rejoin. Well, you can make it back for the 4th of July. I'll show you one heck of a good time, boy. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Fisher, the arms that Lacerda had were purchased by someone using a Panamanian offshore bank as proxy. I want to take a peek inside their records. Unfortunately, it's not as simple as that. This op can't look like a U.S. intelligence gig, so to cover it up, you'll need to crack the bank's vault and lift some bearer bonds. Property of the French government. I hit the bank's servers last night, but I didn't find much. All their workstations run drivers for plug-and-play hard drives. I'm guessing they secure them physically every night. Crazy world we live in where electronic intrusion is more of a threat than physical intrusion. Anyway, they probably store the drives in the main vault, meaning they're not going to be easy to get a hold of. First, the good news. You've been in this bank before. You were part of a CIA raiding team that went in in 89 looking for some of Noriega's drug money. Most of the intelligence we have on the bank actually comes from your team. The bad news is that we have a lot of physical security. Lasers, motion sensors, locked doors, cameras, the whole lot. And none of it was there in 89. We've also contacted a, a specialist to help crack the vault. You better talk to him. Look, I don't know who you are or why I'm helping you, other than it's better than staring at the ceiling of Marcel. I hear you have to face some Mason Wells 88. Well, it ain't a one-man job, but they tell me you can do the work of five men. Fine, I says. I had your mate Willie make a little deposit for you. You'll be needing some things from a safety deposit box in the little vault that we can use to crack the main one. We'll continue on our course for the Yellow Sea and send you back by helicopter to Panama City. I have no authorization to act inside Panamanian borders, so you'll be operating covertly out of the embassy. You and your partner will be on your own in Panama. Hey, Emilio, did you see these new motion sensing lights? No. What do they do? When they detect movement, the light turns on. That's... that's amazing. Like magic. I think I'm going to get one of those from my garage. Imagine that. You pull up in your car at night, and the driveway lights up automatically. Ha! <laughs> You're crazy. This is high-tech stuff, Emilio. It probably costs thousands of dollars. Hmm. You see, you're probably right. I could never afford it. Fisher, I just synced your offset with intelligence on the bank what that you that? and your team gathered back in 89. Uh, the memories. Yeah. Judging from your report, sounds like it was quite a vacation. It was, actually. I spent most of the rest of that year sleeping in a ditch on the road between Baghdad and Kuwait. Oh, well. If it's any consolation, I had a bad year that year, too. What? You weren't working for the government during the Gulf War? No. I was in 10th grade. Oh. Right. Yuck. I've got a copy of a work order here that the bank filed with their insurance company. It says the dome windows over the lobby are magnetically locked. See if you can find a breaker or junction box up here and power down the locks. Right. Good work, Sam. 
That shut down the magnetic locks on the windows. Hey, wait a minute. Power spike. The lobby. It looks like a laser grid just came online. Lasers? Lasers are so... 90s? I was gonna say 70s. Can you please stop making me feel old? Got bad news for you, Sam. You are old. Fisher, here's our advisor. He'll walk you through the steps that'll get you into that vault. Be patient with it. Oh, he's one of those. Right. Hello? Is this thing on, then? It's on. I'm here. Have you been briefed? Whatever. Listen, this is the Mason Wells 88. Each hey, one is unique. What the... You want to get a butcher's up this girl's skirt. First thing you need to do is authorize an opening. How do I do that? The bank president and the treasurer will each have an authorization lock in their office. There'll be another one in the security office. You need to disable all three. Okay. I didn't disturb your rest, did I? Ah! Shh. I'm here to rob the place. The teller's drawers! Each one maintains an overnight float of... of a thousand Balboas! I'm not interested in petty cash. You'll never crack the main vault. It's impregnable. Then you won't mind if I try. No, no, of course. You're the boss. Whatever you say. What can you do to help me? The retinal scanner here. I can unlock it. That's very kind of you. The gold is heavy. You won't be able to carry much. I wish you luck with the vault. Retinal identification. Welcome. Fix this, Paco. Fix that, Paco. This is broken. The other is dirty. Always slaving for cleaning up after you. Always taking care of you so you can do your work. Oh, don't worry. If you break it, Paco will fix it. Paco has nothing better to do than fix every stupid little thing that breaks. What was that code again? An 8645. Now, what else can Paco fix for you? That's the treasurer's authorization. Two more to go. It was way too big to be a man. Oh no, Zerkezi. That's exactly what I didn't want to see. Zerkezi? Is that some kind of dried meat? He's probably the best computational theorist in the world. He worked with Morgan Holt on Project Watson. Word is, he's gone off his nut. Sounds like bad guy material to me. In sports, pitcher Akira Watanabe arrived in New York yesterday for his first practice with his new team. After a full day of evaluations, head pitching coach Matthew Furland stated that Watanabe was, quote, easily the best baseball pitcher ever. That's a relief. Our installer seems to be compatible with their local OS. That's it? Just plug and play? That's the idea. No fuss. Get all eight of those forged mails uploaded. Make the robbery look like an inside job. Exactly.
No. Come on out! You can't hide forever! Hello, Paco. Who are you? What do you want? I wanted to thank you for fixing the keypad on that door. Yeah, yeah, that's Baku. Always doing the dirty work. You want to tell me the door code now? Sure, why not? It's 8645. You want me to write it down? No, that's okay. 8645. I told you already. Eight. Paco doesn't give his numbers out to just anyone. Uniforms are uncomfortable. Oh, that's one of the new American made ones. So, that's good. They are not made by second rate laborers loud balling each other for a Panamanian army service contract. Oh, make no mistake. The quality of the uniforms is exemplary. They'll never wear out. So, what's the next? The five degrees hotter, they weigh eight ounces more, they don't breathe at all, and they're itchy. Well, it doesn't sound like a very good business move to me. Why would the Americans do that? From a business perspective, it's a terrible move. But let me ask you something. What? Hypothetically speaking, if you had to invade Panama, would you rather fight an army in disposable second-rate uniforms, or an army who was overburdened, overheated, itchy, and couldn't move well? Oh, I didn't think of it that way. Neither did our generals when they pocketed a juicy U.S. contract for everlasting uniforms. There are many ways to wage war, my friend. Looks like more lasers ahead, Sam. This whole place is singing with photons. There's a guard who seems to be walking around here, no problem. Maybe he has some kind of beacon. Get close and you can stay in his electronic shadow. Just thinking something. What's that? Did you ever notice that this bank doesn't have any bank machines? Of course. Why do you think that is? Because they don't want people to hack the bank machines. Hack a bank machine? Whoever heard of that? It's not the realism that's the problem. It's just that it introduces a whole resource economy that we don't want to deal with. Oh, oh. I see your point.
Ah, no different again. Stupid piece of junk. That's half of the forged mail, Sam. Four more to go. Oh, thanks. I've always found it hard to count past three. No need to be smarmy, Sam. He's the president, and we are just security guys. Might as well have no idea back. Always the poor who suffer for the rich. Tell me about it. Well, then... Good thinking, Fisher. Now even if you're caught on camera, they won't be able to ID you. Call that loser Paco up here and make him do it. Hey, good idea. That's two down. Now just authorize from the president's office. Chinese ambassador to the United States, Long Dan, was recalled to China today for an emergency meeting with government officials regarding ongoing problems between Korea and Japan. Long Dan is expected to renew his efforts to bring Korean, U.S., and Japanese delegates to the bargaining table. Right, that's authorization done. The outer cage to the vault should be opening as we speak. Great. Just inside the cage, there's a small vault full of safety boxes. You may dropped off some kit for you in one of them. All right, I'll let you know when I'm there. Something is up. All right, I don't know who you are, but this is private property. What are you talking about? I've been working here for two years. Prove it. Prove it? Uh, okay. Well, the key code to the back doors, it... Hey, wait a minute. You're trying to trick me. You're the one who's not supposed to be here. All right. You caught me. I surrender. Oh, wait. Instead, how about you tell me the key code anyway, and I won't be forced to hurt you? Oh, well, since you put it that way, the code is 3901. Thanks. You almost tricked me, but I'm too smart. I'm not afraid of you. Okay, I'm afraid. I am. Sam, it's Will. Turtle said one of these boxes had some equipment in it. Chest level, right hand side, number 1024. Careful with that gear. What is all this stuff? It charges it for the vault, and the other thing in me, Bob, is a telemetric lockpick. A telemetric lockpick? Head down to the main vault. We'll walk you through it there. All right, next you need to pop both of these locks at the same time. That's what the telemetric pick is for. Exactly. It reads your movements in one lock, and mimics them in the other lock, real time. You guys use some cool toys. Right. Now once you get the feel for each pin, you have to wait a second for the telemetric pick to sync up. Once it beats, Bob's your uncle, you can pick the pin and move to the next one. Don't try and pick a pin before you're in sync, or you'll have to restart. Right. Alright, now place the charges over the main pins. Once they're all in place, well, I'm sure you can figure it out. And 
And open sesame. Lambert, we're in. Great work. Sam, get in there and find those hard drives. I have fragments of a message here from someone named Dvorak. Echelon doesn't have a file on him. Wait. Well, that's weird. What? The deleted messages. They're 512 encrypted. I haven't seen 512 since Philip Mass. I killed Mass outside several Morsk. I remember. And it's confirmed. So this is someone with access to some seriously classified information. Zerkazy? That's a frightening possibility. Good job, Fisher. Now the whole mission will look like a robbery. They'll never know why we were here. Lambert, now that I'm holding 50 million bucks, I think we need to talk about that raise again. Hmm. 25 cents an hour and not a penny more. Deal. All right, Fisher. We'll extract you as planned from the same location you were inserted. Over the wall from the front courtyard? That's right. Redding will be waiting for you nearby. On my way. Great work, Fisher. One more forged mail and we're covered. Doing my best. Great work, Fisher. Now any investigation into the robbery will only point back at the investigators. So the Panamanian government will end up sending some innocent banker to prison? Innocent, if you don't count providing arms to revolutionaries. Oh, right, I forgot. Bankers. Evil. Something's up. Well, it's just another false alarm. There's no such thing as being too careful. 